Jojo Siwa, the once unbeatable teen sensation, is now facing a storm of controversies that threaten to derail her career. From a shocking public kiss to backlash over not writing her own songs, Jojo's image is taking a hit. Her bold rebranding efforts are falling flat, and 2024 has only added fuel to the fire with insensitive social media posts and swirling rumors. As endorsements dry up and fans drift away, is this the end of Jojo Siwa as we know her? Stay tuned to find out what's next for this embattled star. We all remember Jojo Siwa, right? The bubbly, high-energy teen with iconic bow who shot the fame on Dance Moms and later conquered the world with her catchy tunes and colorful persona. Jojo wasn't just another child star. She became a phenomenon. With her larger-than-life personality, she quickly built an empire that included music, merchandise, and even her own show on Nickelodeon. Her songs like Boomerang and Kid in a Candy Store became anthems for kids everywhere, and her positive, never-give-up attitude made her a role model for millions. But lately, things haven't been so rosy for Jojo. It seems like her once unstoppable rise to fame has hit a series of bumps that are threatening to derail her career. First up, let's talk about the headline-grabbing moment when Jojo Siwa was spotted kissing So You Think You Can Dance contestant Madison Roge Alvarado at Lux. Yeah, you heard that right. The paparazzi caught them in the act and the internet went wild. While some fans were supportive, others were shocked and critical, questioning Jojo's choices and what this means for her image. The incident happened so suddenly and so publicly that it sparked an immediate media frenzy. Photos and videos of Jojo and Madison's kiss spread like wildfire across social media, with fans and critics alike weighing in. Some saw it as a bold statement of her personal life, embracing her truth in a very public way. So finally, Jojo Siwa will be churning for something other than her cringe dance moves and her awkward interviews. She was spotted kissing So You Think You Can Dance contestant Madison Rouge Alvarado at LAX. This picture that they use is completely sending me because why is she dressed like a bejeweled kiss? However, others felt it was a blunted publicity stunt meant to grab headlines and stay relevant in an ever-competitive entertainment industry. The public creation was a mixed bag. Many of JoJo's young fans who have grown up idolizing her felt confused and betrayed. Their parents, too, expressed concerns over what they perceived as inappropriate behavior for JoJo's primary audience young children and preteens. On the flip side, Jojo received support from the LGBTQ plus community who applauded her for being open and authentic about her relationships. Despite this support, the controversy added another layer to Jojo's increasingly complex public persona. But that's not all. Jojo recently came under fire for admitting that she doesn't write her own songs. In an interview, she defended herself by saying, It's like when you buy clothes, you don't make them yourself, but you wear them. Is it true you didn't write your single Karma and you stole it from Miley Cyrus? <laughs> Is it true that I didn't write my song Karma? And I stole it. Stole it from my stole it. I stole it. I stole it. Hand got me. Let me the cops are here. Get her. Got so I did not write karma. Okay. But the funniest thing to me is I have seen online. I swear I've seen the video of her saying she wrote it. There is a video I saw it. And now people are like, it must be a Mandela effect. <laughs> this comparison did not sit well with many of her fans who felt disappointed and even betrayed. The backlash was swift, with critics arguing that this relation tarnishes her credibility as an artist. For many, music is an intensely personal form of expression, and the revelation that Jojo's songs are not her own words struck a chord, 
and not in a good way. Fans who had found solace and inspiration in her music felt disillusioned, questioning the authenticity of the messages she had been promoting. The analogy Georgia used comparing songwriting to buying clothes was seen as dismissive and out of touch with the artistic integrity many fans expect from their idols. This controversy was particularly damaging because it hit at the core of Jojo's brand. She had always marketed herself as a down-to-earth, relatable girl next door, and this revelation made her seem more like a manufactured product. The mixed reactions highlighted a growing disconnect between Jojo and her audience, further complicating her attempts to navigate her career as she transitions from a child star to a more mature artist. Then there is the whole rebranding saga. Jojo's attempt to shift her image from a child star to a more mature artist has been met with mixed reactions. Some see it as a natural progression, while others feel like it's forced and inauthentic. According to Vox, this rebrand has been more of a stumbling block than a stepping stone, leading to even more backlash from fans who feel like they're losing the Jojo they once adored. Jojo's rebranding efforts included a dramatic change in her appearance and content. Gone were the glittery bows and pastel colored outfits, replaced by e-gear fashion and more mature themes in her music and social media posts. However, this transformation was not universally welcomed. Longtime fans, especially younger ones, struggled to reconcile this new image with the Jojo they had grown up loving. Parents too were skeptical, fearing that Jojo's shift might not be appropriate for their children. Critics argued that Jojo's rebranding felt forced as she was trying too hard to shed her child star image without a clear sense of direction. The transition seemed abrupt and unplanned, leaving her fan base confused and divided. This backlash was further fueled by the perception that Jojo was losing touch with the values and persona that had made her a beloved figure in the first place. As if things couldn't get worse, 2024 has brought even more drama into Jojo's life. From controversial social media posts to rumors about her personal life, it seems like Jojo can't catch a break. The media has been relentless and the public is divided, with some people calling for a complete boycott of her work. One of the most talked about incidents was Jojo's ill-advised comments on a popular social media platform. She made a post that was widely perceived as insensitive and out of touch with current social issues, sparking a firestorm of criticism. All these controversies are taking a toll on Jojo's career. Her once spotless reputation is now marred by scandal after scandal and it's affecting her work. Endorsements are drying up and her fan base is dwindling. Industry experts are questioning if she can ever bounce back from this or if we are witnessing the end of Jojo Siva as we know her. Brands that previously associated themselves with Jojo's wholesome and positive image are now distancing themselves, wary of the negative publicity. Moreover, her fan base is showing signs of, fitch, of fracture. Longtime fans feel betrayed by her recent actions and statements, struggling to reconcile the Jojo they admired with the current controversies. Social media platforms that once buzzed with enthusiastic support are now rife with debates, criticism, and unfollows. This dwindling support is evident in the declining engagement on her posts, fewer streams for her music, and lower attendance at her events. However, others are more skeptical, suggesting that the cumulative effect of these controversies may have permanently damaged her brand. The entertainment industry is notoriously fickle, and bouncing back from a series of high-profile mistakes is not easy feat. In conclusion, Jojo Siwa is at a critical juncture in her career. The controversies of 2024 have undoubtedly taken a significant toll, but whether this marks the end of her journey or a transformative period of growth remains to be seen. Jojo will need to navigate these challenges with care, authenticity, and perhaps a bit of luck if she hopes to reclaim her place in the hearts of her fans and the entertainment industry.